So in this problem, we're told that a particle is moving with the given data. Find the position of the particle. We're told that a of t is equal to t minus 6, s of 0 is equal to 9, and b of 0 is equal to 2. So let's just start with what they give us. So a of t is equal to t minus 6. We're trying to find s of t. And s of t is just the position function. So recall that like um, the antiderivative of, of a of t is equal to b of t. And the antiderivative of b of t is s of t. So all we got to do is find the antiderivative of our acceleration function, then find the antiderivative of our velocity function. That'll be our answer. Um, once we plug in all the values. So let's find the antiderivative of this function first. So the antiderivative of t is just t squared over 2 because it's just t to the 1. What we do is we add 1 to our um, previous exponent, and then we divide by that number. So t squared over 2. Then we minus, and then we have the antiderivative of minus 6. If you have a constant, all you got to do is just add your variable after it. So it's just going to become minus 6t. But then we got to add plus c because we're finding the antiderivative of a function. We got to have a constant after. So now, in order to find the position function, what we got to do is find the antiderivative of this. So this is just 1 half times t squared. The antiderivative of it is going to be t, and we add 1 to our previous exponent, so t cubed, divide by that. So we have t cubed over 3, but then we got to multiply by 1 half. So it's going to become, it's going to become 1 over 6 um, times t cubed. Then we got to find the antiderivative of minus 6t. So let's find the antiderivative of t, and then multiply by minus 6. So t is going to become t squared over 2. Because we have t to the 1, we add 1 and then divide. So that's going to become our new exponent, and then we divide by it. So we have minus 6 times uh, t squared over 2. Then minus 6 and over 2 is going to become minus 3. We have minus 3 t squared. Then plus, we have a constant, which is just c, but we represent it by the variable, or by c. That's a constant, so uh, it's just going to become c times t. But then we got to add plus d at the end because we're finding the antiderivative and we always got to add a new constant variable. So we have plus ct plus d. Um, so now what we want to do is just plug in our stuff and then we can um, uh, finish the problem. So if we plug in 0, so they tell us that v sub 0 is equal to 2. So if we use this formula, we plug in 2, we get 2 equals 0, if we plug in 0 for t squared over 2, which just becomes 0, minus 6 times 0, which is just 0, so plus 0, um, plus c, so these are just going to cancel, and we'll get that c is equal to 2. So we got that c equals 2, and now we need to just find d, and then we can just plug everything in, and then we'll be done. So they tell us that s of 0 is equal to 9, so s of 0, so if we plug in 9, or just 9, equals well when we plug in 0 for t so we plug in 0 to this 0 cubed is 0 times 1 over 6 is 0 and then minus 3 times t squared if we plug in 0 0 squared is 0 times minus 3 is 0 so plus 0 then c is 2 so plus 2 times t but t is 0 so it's just 0 um, plus d and so d is equal to 9 then so now that we know that, we've got everything we need and we just got to plug it in. So s of t is going to be equal to 1 over 6 times t cubed minus 3t squared plus c times t. And we know c is 2. So plus 2t plus d. So d is going to be 9. So this right here is going to be the answer to this problem.